Still ahead tonight, for the second time in two years, Wapaka's biggest employer, the Wapaka Foundry, is being sold. A company based in Japan is looking to take over the ownership. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more from Wapaka. The deal was finalized in the middle of the night, 1.15 a.m. Wapaka time. The uh, foundry has been sold uh, to uh, Hitachi Metals. Uh, it was announced at uh, 3.15 uh, p.m. Uh, Tokyo time. The $1.3 billion cash deal will include six foundries in three states. Nearly 4,000 employees in all, including 1,700 workers in Wapaka. Gary Giganti says the company's name will stay the same and the headquarters will remain right here. That's the good news. It doesn't affect uh, the people here at all. Uh, the transaction will be totally seamless for our employees, for the customers, for our suppliers, uh, every, in the city of Wapaka. The foundry is the area's largest employer. In one way or another, more than 50% of the people are touched by the Wapaka Foundry. The city's mayor says that leads to a strong local economy. It's probably why we have one more grocery store, we have three more convenience stores, we have uh, more liquor stores, I mean we have uh, more entertainment in our community. This is the fourth time the foundry has been sold in its nearly 60 year history. The investment firm KPS Capital Partners bought the foundry just two years ago. Giganti says the foundry was able to compete under KPS, but he says this sale will allow Wapaka Foundry to go international. And Hitachi has a very strong company that they're acquiring in Wapaka Foundry, and together with Hitachi's, I would say, global reach, um, I think that really uh, uh, creates a powerhouse going forward. Giganti says the foundry doesn't plan to hire more workers right now because of the sale. But he says the company's five-year goal includes expansion at all six facilities. In Wapaka, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Now, all parties still need to close on the deal. That's expected to take a couple of months still.